So practice non-judgment. Give yourself a break. Cut yourself some slack. Cut some other people some slack. Go through life and don't judge. You know, we're working hard. You know that you're putting the systems and processes into place. And be a innocent bystander. No reason to judge of where you are, where you're not, where you're going. You know, stick to the plan, work the plan, and don't judge. Don't judge other people. We're all fighting the good fight. And the more that you can walk around in a non-judgment state, in an openness state, an acceptance state, accepting where you are, accepting where other people are, accepting everyone's station in life, accepting your own station in life, you know, that that's really the more successful you're going to be. Um, a few years ago, I was coaching a lady who ran a nice, uh, uh, you know, a couple million dollar business. And every so often, I'd be getting intense because I'm an intense coach that way. And she would just look at me and take a deep breath. And I knew what that meant is that she was trying to center herself in the moment and just kind of relax because things were getting too heated or too excited. And she wanted to stay in that process of non-judgment, that space of just openness, that space of cutting herself some slack, that space of cutting me some slack. And ultimately, just cut yourself some slack. You know, work hard, stay focused on your systems and processes, but there's no reason to, to judge, judge others. And so really, if you can practice, uh, stay in non-judgment in that non-judgment space and cutting yourself some slack and everyone some slack today. Have a great day.